Diabetes and Nutrition, the Glycemic Index from the Diabetes Education Program at the Hospital for Sick Children. This video explains what the glycemic index is and how it affects someone with diabetes. Please note, the images in this video are for illustrative purposes only and do not constitute the hospital's endorsement of a specific brand or product. What is the glycemic index? The glycemic index, or GI, is a ranking system of carbohydrate-containing foods by how much they raise blood sugar levels. Carbohydrates in foods convert to sugar in our blood, but some carbohydrates affect blood sugar in different ways. Certain foods have carbohydrates that convert to sugar faster than others, and this can be important for people with diabetes. Benefits of using the glycemic index for people with diabetes, using the glycemic index during meal planning can help to improve glycemic control and insulin sensitivity, can help to decrease the risk of hypoglycemia, and leads to better HbA1c levels. Meal planning using the glycemic index helps with feelings of fullness, which can help with following a meal plan and weight management, and can help decrease the risk of heart disease by improving blood fats. Glycemic Index Ranking the glycemic index, GI, can be divided into high GI, which is greater than or equal to 70, medium GI, between 56 and 69, and low GI, numbers less than or equal to 55. Low glycemic index foods. These foods are slowly digested and absorbed, cause a slower and smaller rise in blood sugar levels, and are higher in fiber. These foods are ranked at 55 or less on the GI scale. Low glycemic index foods include fruits such as apples, berries, oranges, and peaches, pulses and legumes such as kidney beans, lentils, and chickpeas, milk and alternatives which include cow's milk, soy milk, and almond milk. It also includes yogurt made with milk and Greek yogurt. And finally, grains and starches, such as whole grain tortillas, quinoa, and peas. Medium glycemic index foods. Medium glycemic index foods do not raise blood sugar levels as much as high glycemic index foods, but they still affect blood sugar levels. They are ranked between 56 and 69, and they include fruits, such as grapes, pineapple, and kiwi, and grains and starches, such as oats, basmati or brown rice, and corn. High glycemic index foods. High GI foods are digested and absorbed quickly and increase blood sugar levels more rapidly. They are often processed foods that are low in fiber. They are ranked at 70 or more on the GI scale. There are some healthy foods with high glycemic index ranking that can be part of your diet. These may include fruits, such as watermelon and overripe bananas, and grains and starches such as millet and naan bread, and vegetables such as potatoes, parsnips, and carrots. Factors that affect the glycemic index of food. There are many factors that affect the glycemic index, such as the type of sugar it contains. Some sugars increase blood sugar levels higher than others. Sugars, such as high fructose corn syrup, found in soda, juice drinks, and processed and packaged foods increase the GI. How refined the carbohydrate is. Generally, the more processed a food is, the higher its GI. The ripeness of fruit. The riper the fruit, the higher the GI. Ripe bananas have a higher GI than unripe bananas. Ripe fruits can still be part of a healthy diet. The cooking method. The longer a food is cooked, the faster its sugars will be digested and absorbed thus raising GI. For example, pasta cooked al dente has a lower GI than overcooked pasta. The type of starch. Some starches, like the ones in sticky rice, are digested quickly, so they have a higher GI. Starches like the ones in wild rice are digested more slowly, so they have a lower GI. The acid content. Adding acids like lemon juice, vinegar, or homemade tomato sauce to some foods can help lower the GI. The fat and protein. Fat and protein slow the rate of stomach emptying. Higher fat foods, such as lasagna, french fries, pizza, or hamburgers, are digested at a slower rate, triggering a lower glycemic response. 
Even though high fat foods may have a low GI, they are not necessarily healthy foods. How different foods impact blood sugar. This graph shows how different nutrients in a meal impact blood sugar. Notice how fat and protein cause a delayed rise in blood sugar. It is important to know that there are healthy fats and unhealthy fats. Having a variety of food, as per Canada's food guide, can help with balanced healthy eating and maintaining glycemic control. Mixing foods lowers the rate of digestion and absorption of carbohydrates. Balanced healthy eating also includes sometimes foods. Try to limit these foods to one serving once or twice a week. They include foods such as specialty coffees and iced cappuccino, donuts, croissants and muffins, and cookies, ice cream, cakes, pies, and cupcakes. Sometimes foods also include potato chips and candies, fast foods and processed foods such as pizza, hot dogs and hamburgers, and popsicles and freezies. These foods typically have a high glycemic ranking. Tips to lower the GI of daily meals suggest to limit the amount of processed food and eat more vegetables, fruit, and milk as they are low glycemic index foods. Try to choose at least one low glycemic index food at each meal, such as whole grain breads or pasta, quinoa, pulses and legumes, sweet potato or long grain rice, and make fruit and milk a part of your meal. Use vinegar or lemon juice instead of creamy salad dressings. And finally, eat low GI foods the most often and high GI foods the least often. You can go from high to low GI foods by substituting one food for another. Here are a few examples of going from high to low GI foods. Instead of white bread, try a whole wheat pita or a mixed grain bread. Instead of white rice, you could try brown rice or wild rice. Instead of pretzels, try rye crisp crackers or popcorn. And lastly, instead of sugary cereal, try instant oatmeal or a bran cereal. Remember to make these substitutions at the grocery store. Keeping the high GI foods out of the cart is half the battle. Learning to use the glycemic index for meal planning can help everyone in the family. Substituting food can be a big change for some. It will take a little while to get used to the new way of eating, but it will mean a healthier diet for everyone in the family. We are here to help. If you have questions or need further tips, please contact your diabetes team.